Stuart Smith. Chair. Well, it's a pleasure to um, make a contribution uh, in this stage of the Hiranui Kaikoura Earthquake Recovery Bill. And I'd like to, on behalf of the good people of Kaikoura, thank the, uh, the Select Committee and its able chair, Scott Simpson, uh, and the collegiality of the Select Committee uh, to work very hard with this, uh, on this bill. I know they sat for very long hours, uh, and the um, officials and advisers that did all the work uh, around that as well uh, should also be thanked for their hard work. I know they uh, burnt the midnight oil to ensure this bill is before us today, and I, I can tell you it means a heck of a lot to those people. I was in Kaikoura um, this morning, I uh, just got back in time uh, for this this afternoon, and they are already asking questions about when is this all going to be able to be enacted? When can they uh, start the recovery phase? I know it's been over three weeks since the earthquake and there's a heck of a lot happened, but if you're the people living in it, it seems a heck of a long time. And so they are really very grateful that things are moving. I told them I was coming back here today and this would be passed today. So I really do thank everybody across the House on their behalf. Um, I think all of this work that you put into this bill, uh, and particularly as has been alluded to, the, um, the uh, advisory panel, really does make this bill um, a, a good step forward in the management of uh, the recovery. And I think uh, that had it not had that panel, that, that has really the icing on the cake, if you like, or the final check and balance um, along the way. It was talked about earlier uh, by one of the previous speakers about and, you know, perhaps having a, uh, an on-the-shelf piece of legislation. But when you look at this uh, incident compared to the Christchurch um, earthquake, they have quite a different profile in terms of the damage and, and um, what areas are affected. And I suspect each event will always be, have its own nuances. And uh, to have a, a one-size-fits-all piece of legislation uh, would have to be so broad um, that we would run into all the sorts of issues that have caused, um, uh, that have, have been the points of debate around this particular bill anyway. So um, I think while it's been a very, um, a lot of work that's been caused for the uh, Local Government and Environment Committee and officials uh, to get this through in a quick and timely manner, I can't see any other way of doing uh, ha ha handling a recovery bill like this. So, um, once again, I'd like to thank everyone concerned. Um, I can't add any more on the technical details, as I wasn't on the select committee. Um, but I, as I said earlier, um, there are a whole lot of uh, people watching this today um, and listening to this who are very keen on this getting passed. So I won't delay it any further. Thank you.